Hey guys, I'm going to be going over 7 fun and free mobile games that you should try. So these are all games that I have played and had a really fun time playing them. So let's check them out. Alright, so the first game on my list is Burrito Bison. So in this game you start off playing as a bison and you launch yourself out of a boxing arena into hundreds of little gummies that are running across the map. Yeah, it's uh, pretty weird. So the goal of the game is actually pretty simple. You just try and launch yourself as far as you can, but every time you hit the ground or hit a gummy you lose a little bit of speed. So that's where your abilities come in. You just tap the screen and it launches you down which helps maintain your speed. And every time you squash a gummy they drop money which you can exchange in the shop for upgrades so there's a lot of things you can upgrade you can upgrade your maximum speed your overall bounciness or how much money you make from the gummies and once you have enough upgrades you're gonna be able to have enough speed to get through these big cake walls that they have that separate each section of the map and each section the gummies give more money and they're less bouncy so you're gonna get solid a lot easier and whenever you get through one of those cake walls for the first time you unlock a new hero some of them like grapple down to the ground another one can fly up and smash down so that's pretty cool and overall a pretty fun game all right the next game on my list is Saz 4 so this is a top-down zombie shooting game you start off by choosing one of three classes you can either choose a tank assault or medic each class has its unique skill tree with different abilities in it and every time you level up you get one skill point that you can put into whatever you like so there are seven levels to choose from you can either play single player or you can play with a team of random four people or if you have friends you can join in a game with them and one of the best things is gearing up your character getting like super overpowered guns and overpowered armor so the way you get that is by killing bosses so whenever you kill a boss they normally drop a strong box and that strong box can be many tiers so the higher tier the better chance you're gonna get like a good armor or a good weapon whenever you open a strong box it's completely random what you're gonna get so you could get something really bad or something like really good so normally these weapons have open slots in them which you can use to augment them so you can put like deadly on it which increases damage or faster attack speed a whole bunch of different things you can put onto the weapons which adds a lot of customizability and there are also quite a few event modes so you play with like a team of four some of them you're like against each other so one of them is just the last person alive wins other ones the whole team is just trying to stay alive as long as you can and there's another one where you try and pick up a bunch of virus samples so that changes it up quite a bit all right the next game we have is grow castle if you're looking for an addictive tower defense game this is the one so you start out with your tower and you just have like a couple heroes and you go to fight a wave and then you get money from that wave from killing the monsters and then you come back home and you can unlock more and more more heroes heroes and you can unlock towers so there's a whole bunch of different upgrades and the more waves you do it keeps getting harder and harder but you also keep getting more and more gold and there are these colonies that you can travel to and you can fight and if you win you can colonize them and that'll make you gold like every 60 seconds or something and then you continually level up which you can put to increase your damage and how much money you make from the colonies all kinds of stuff there and there are these different dragons you can fight and they drop items which you can equip on your heroes which will give them like a boost to damage or reduce their mana point cost all right the next game i have for you is nebulous this is a pvp game where you start off as a little blob and there's a little dot scattered across the map and you can pick these up and they've increased your size so the main goal in this game is to eat other players and to get as massive as you can so if you're the same size as somebody else neither of you can eat each other but if you're like 10 percent bigger then you're able to eat them the controls are pretty simple you just press the split button and you split into two chunks and you can do this all the way up into your eight separate chunks so if you're like twice as big as somebody you can split and then that extends your reach so you can chomp them and get one big chunk and there are quite a few different abilities scattered across the map so you got like your bomb so you shoot this at somebody and it blows them up you got another one where you press it and it teleports you to a random spot on the map and there are quite a few different game modes so you got like your teams so there's like three different teams and you can't eat your teammates you have free for all so everybody's on their separate team and you can eat anybody you got capture the flag and quite a few other game modes so honestly this game has been so fun I've used to play it quite a bit way back in the day with my brother but recently I've been getting into it again and it is such a fun game all right so the next game on my list is archero so as the name of the game suggests you play as an archer to beat a level you have to clear out a whole bunch of these different rooms that are filled with monsters so once you kill enough monsters you'll have enough xp to unlock an ability for that run so you can choose like ricochet which makes it so all your arrows bounce between targets 
targets, or you can choose Flaming Arrow, which sets them on fire. And once you beat all 50 rooms it normally is, you will finish that room and you unlock the next chapter, which is even harder. And when you kill monsters, there's a chance that they can drop an item. So this could be a weapon or armor or a ring or something. So once you get three of one equipment, you can fuse it up to the next rarity, which will increase its damage and its max level. And there's like six tiers you can fuse a weapon up to. So to upgrade all the way up to that and it costs three each time, it takes like a billion of each gear. So that makes it so you normally always have something that you can continually upgrade, which is always nice. And there's a whole list of heroes that you can play from. And there's a whole bunch of different event modes and stuff. All right, the next game I have is Bullet Echo. So this is a top-down PvP shooter kind of game. And what makes this game really unique is you actually have to be looking at someone for them to appear. In other games, you'd normally be able to just see everybody on your screen but in this game you actually have to be facing towards them which makes this game really unique so when you first jump into a match you just start out with a secondary which is not very powerful so you want to try and find ammo so there's all these ammo boxes scattered all across the map so when you pick that up that lets you have your primary weapon which does a lot more damage and has more range and there are a whole bunch of upgrades scattered all across the map that you can pick up such as increasing your damage or increasing your vision range so currently there are 21 heroes in the game and each of them have their unique unique play styles. So for snipers, you generally want to stay back more and just take them out from a distance. And tanks generally want to stay in closer quarters just so they're not getting shot at from a distance. And then there are the SMGs who can run super fast and deal quite a bit of damage. Shotguns who have a decent amount of health and really good damage, but the range is super short so you have to get really close to the enemy. And the assault rifle class, which is overall pretty well rounded. So when you first start off the game, you just have a level one hero and you don't have any abilities unlocked for that hero. But once you you level up your heroes enough you unlock these abilities that are specific to that hero so you can have a shield ability which blocks all the enemy bullets in front of you and allows you to still shoot at them and there's a grenade ability so you can just lob a grenade out there and it can blow somebody up and there's a thermal vision ability which will allow you to shoot through walls this game is a really easy game to learn but it's super hard to master because i played like over 10,000 matches and i'm still wouldn't consider myself to be a super good player all right the last game on this list is swamp attack so this is a game where you play as an old hillbilly who lives in the swamp and he's trying to protect his house from a bunch of alligators and raccoons and all kinds of turtles and crazy stuff so when you beat a level you get a bunch of gold which you can use to upgrade a few things you can upgrade your house so you can get like defenses for it or metal which will make it so it's beefier or you can unlock new weapons so you got like a flamethrower or assault rifle so there's a ton of different levels that you can go through and there's different game modes and there's also a multiplayer mode pretty fun game and i would recommend it all right that's all for this video if you guys have any other games that you think should have been on this list put them in the comments and also if you want me to do any videos on the games that I mentioned in this video, let me know. See ya!